American author and motivational speaker John C. Maxwell offers the following thought on mentorship. One of the greatest values of mentors is the ability to see ahead what others cannot see and to help them navigate a course to their destination. Tonight, among all the other awards and achievements of 2020, we get to honor someone who has helped UNAMI navigate the course not only during this turbulent year but who has set a course for the future during each of his five years as Lodge Advisor. Dennis Abernathy's tenure as advisor can be marked by three distinct areas of growth for the Lodge. Youth development, commitment to service, and passionate mentorship. Youth development. From the onset, Dennis's purpose as Lodge Advisor has been to foster a sense of youth pride and ownership in the work that the Lodge accomplishes. Lodge events from LEC meetings to service weekends rapidly saw an increase in youth participation, at times achieving a one-to-one -one youth to adult ratio. Often, it would certainly have been easier to do things himself. Instead, Dennis took the time to guide the youth of the Lodge in making a decision that was uniquely theirs. This has created an overwhelming feeling that, once again, UNAMI is youth run. Commitment to service. UNAMI's history is rooted in providing service to our council and camps, and the last five years have been no exception to this fact. From significant camp improvement projects, such as the installation of fishing piers at Musser, and the rehabilitation of the Nunnyville cabins at Resica Falls, to smaller initiatives, like supporting an increased number of council service days, and council events like the Philly Encampment and Musser Madness, UNAMI has been there to get the job done. And just as often, Dennis has been there himself, ensuring that the job is done, lending his own time and talents to the task at hand. Passionate mentorship. Dennis came to the role of Lodge Advisor five years ago with an abundance of scouting experience behind him, including service as a loyal scoutmaster, dedicated district volunteer, and an active airman. In each of these areas, he was the consummate mentor to countless youth leaders and fellow scouters alike, myself included. This fervor for guiding others is revisited time and again by Dennis, resulting in an active Lodge leadership that is composed of engaged youth leaders and caring adult advisors, even in the midst of a global pandemic. If you ask Dennis any of the successes of the last five years were the results of the efforts of our Lodge chiefs, the youth leaders, and his fellow advisors. Even in the prominent role of Lodge Advisor, Dennis has never sought the forefront. He much rather encourage and motivate from the background, giving others the tools they need to be successful. He has trusted youth and adults alike to get the job done. In trusting and inspiring others, he has made the last five years of growth and success a reality. Dennis has seen UNAMI's potential and consistently guided the Lodge in the right direction. That direction is, like the arrow, onward and upward. In doing so, Dennis has truly navigated the Lodge on a course of success for many years to come. At this time, it is my pleasure to present this plaque to my friend Dennis Abernathy. The inscription reads, Dennis Abernathy, Lodge Advisor, 2016 to 2020, and contains a quote from our pre-ordeal ceremony by Alawat Sakima. Working gladly, not begrudging, seek to serve and thus be faithful to the high ideals and purposes of the Order of the Arrow. Dennis, on behalf of all the youth and adults that you've mentored over the years, thank you for working gladly, seeking to serve, and always being faithful. So, uh, I'm on a hug right now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 106th dinner celebration of Unami Lodge. 
What is the order of the arrow? Well, if you actually Google it, you're going to get a couple of different responses. It's Scouting's National Honor Society. There's another one. Those that best exemplify the Scout Oath and Law. Those are two very good definitions of the order of the arrow. There are scout masters out there that would sit there and say, oh, it's those group of guys with the white sashes that take our good leaders away from us. That's not necessarily a true statement. We do train our leaders so that they can best serve you, the troops. Some also say it's free labor for the council. That's not too far off because that is what we're here for. We are the service arm of the council, service to our camps, cheerfulness, brotherhood, service. Now, over the past five years, I've had the honor of being the lodge advisor for Unami Lodge One. And over those past five years, I've had the pleasure of guiding five very different youth as the Lodge Chief. All have done an exceptional job in their role. 2020 is no different. That is, of course, if you don't count the fact that we were unable to hold our normal weekends of service and induction. Does that mean we didn't get anything done? Not at all. Our current lodge chief went out there, got in touch with his officers and his chairman and said, we have to come up with a different way. Without losing the integrity of the founding lodge, which is what Unami Lodge is. And we did that. We had an eight week window to actually go out there and do service to our camps and duck some of our youth. And we did it. In that eight weeks, we held three service weekends. We held two induction weekends where we inducted 75 new members into our lodge. And we had 21 seal their bonds of brotherhood. So I say, 2020, no different. Numbers are a little lower, but during a pandemic, those numbers mean everything. And I couldn't be any prouder of our advisors, our chairmen that have gone out there and done what they could to make this Unami Lodge the best lodge. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Penny's out of here.